I care about my word. Excuse my language. So when I give my word, I do try my best to keep my word. So when I told the fans, Rollies or Haney, there was a poll on Twitter. Haney won. Barely, but he won. Raleigh Romero, who has been in the spotlight recently due to his previous fight with Isaac Cruz and the subsequent controversy, has now weighed in on the cheating claims surrounding Devin Haney's defeat to Ryan Garcia. Romero recently delivered a bold retort to both father and son following Bill Haney's suggestion for him to consider a valet job after his defeat against Isaac Cruz. Now, Ryan Garcia's victory against Devin Haney left the boxing world buzzing with surprise. Garcia, entering as a plus 550 underdog, stunned spectators by dropping Haney three times on his way to securing a majority decision win. The bout unfolded in a peculiar and oddly disjointed manner, yet it delivered moments of sheer thrill, making it a spectacle unlike any other in the boxing ring. Garcia's triumph brings him glory, yet the coveted WBC super lightweight title eludes him. Firmly held by Devin Haney, Garcia forfeited his claim to the title due to a missed weight on Friday. Nevertheless, every victory merits celebration, particularly this resounding win against a familiar adversary. The guy was holding me for dear life, and I felt an opportunity to keep swinging while my hands were free, and I cracked him, and then he took point away when I cracked him. But he held me, and then, like, I should have knocked him out in that seventh round. They stole that from me. Yeah, the, the referee was horrible. I think everybody in the arena saw it. It was horrible. It should have been stopped the first time. And Devin was holding and holding and holding, and Ryan got pointed to Dr. Ferris. That was crazy. I never seen some shit like that. He was holding me, and I just whap! I whapped him, and then he was hurt, and I was like, yes, done. And then, oh, point thing about <laughs> Ryan Garcia is likely basking in the pinnacle of his existence, relishing every moment, while Devin Haney must be silently grateful for the stroke of luck that spared his unbeaten record from shattering along with his belt. If Ryan Garcia hadn't exceeded the weight limit, Haney might have faced a double loss. Yet, amidst Haney's fortunes, a shadow looms large. He finds himself alienated from many of his peers, owing to his father's eagerness to embroil himself in every debate diving headfirst into contentious conversations and clashes. It seemed as if the entire boxing realm held its breath, anticipating his downfall. Despite initial predictions favoring him, Ryan Garcia's rumored struggles with health cast doubt on his readiness for the match. Many believed it would be an effortless victory for his opponent. Yet, after two months of uncertainty, Garcia surprised everyone with 12 rounds of remarkable performance, leaving the boxing community divided in its assessment of the bout. Prior to the inaugural bell, Garcia found himself compelled to undergo psychiatric evaluation. Coerced into demonstrating his soundness and compelled to counter a barrage of absurd allegations. Within the traditional realms of the sport, numerous voices clamored for the bout's cancellation, urging Garcia to seek assistance for his well-being. Garcia's apparent unraveling in the public eye overshadowed the true battle he waged behind closed doors. Within the ring, he faced the fight of his youth with unwavering determination, seamlessly transforming it into a struggle for his well-being. Outside the confidence of the arena, it was a masterfully orchestrated performance, a charity aimed at deceiving Heine, the authorities, and the spectators alike. Downing a beer after missing weight, he engaged in an intimate dialogue with his inner demons before seamlessly transitioning into the grand spectacle of his elaborate deception. Haney's skepticism was ever present, yet the evidence held sway. Garcia, a social media virtuoso, possessed a cunning knack for manipulation. It was easy to overlook the fact that these two had clashed six times in their amateur days, each claiming victory thrice. Garcia embodied a true fighting spirit, complemented by an astute grasp of social media dynamics. His antics, though seemingly wild, were too calculated to dismiss as mere madness. Indeed, some of his 3 a.m. diatribes were oddly captivating. Garcia's eccentricity doesn't equate to instability. He's proven his doubters wrong, showcasing his resilience. Surprisingly, those who once questioned his sanity found themselves acknowledging their misjudgments. Some even turned to social media to jest at the champion and his father after his initial defeat. I mean, I, I'm surprised he has such good heart and like courage. That's, bro, I cracked him that first row. I thought it was over. I was like, I want easy work. And then he came out firing in the second. He even hurt me with the hook. And I was like, damn, maybe you do got a little power. <laughs>
One standout figure in the mix was Gervonta Tank Davis, who chose not to engage much with Devin Haney. Instead, his focus was on Bill Haney, known for his controversial persona both inside and outside the ring. Even Shakur Stevenson, after initially predicting a victory for Haney, switched sides on social media, adding to the intrigue. This sparked reactions from various professional fighters. They took to social media and interviews, some unleashing heavy trolling aimed at both Haney and his father, Bill. After the bout ended, Rolando Raleigh Romero, having recently surrendered his World Boxing Association Super Lightweight Championship to Isaac Pitbull Cruz, emerged on social media, a rare sight since his defeat, to playfully taunt both Devin Haney and his father. This wasn't his initial jab, though. Bill Haney had taken a swing at him first after his loss to Cruz. Unbeknownst to Bill Haney, fate had a surprise in store for him, providing Romero with the perfect opportunity for payback. Romero seized the moment, delivering his retaliation with flair, exploiting every advantage at his disposal. I'd love to see Bill Haney's reaction to this. Who's laughing now, idiots? Who's looking for a job in the valleys? During an interview, Devin Haney purposefully refrained from discussing Raleigh Romero, despite their tumultuous past. Although they share a contentious history, Haney still expressed words of encouragement and admiration for Rolando Roli Romero. However, the tone shifted when Haney's father joined the conversation and added to the chorus of professionals teasing Romero. The discussion initially revolved around Haney's upcoming fight against Ryan Garcia, but abruptly diverted when Haney was queried about Isaac Pitbull Cruz's performance against Romero. The interviewer was eager to hear Haney's thoughts on Romero's knockout loss. He appeared strong, nothing negative to say. He fought exceptionally well, fulfilling his promises, remarked the WBC light welterweight champion regarding the new WBA belt holder. Shifting focus, Devin Haney acknowledged Romero's resilience, underscoring the importance of recognizing his strength of character. He mentioned that he displayed no resilience, enduring multiple blows and persisting in the fight despite getting hurt repeatedly. Even when offered the chance to quit, he insisted on continuing, earning my respect. It's a poignant conclusion for Raleigh Romero, especially after his pre-fight antics where he boasted and trash-talked his opponent. In contrast, the Mexican boxer let his performance speak, and in the end, some criticized Romero for his arrogance. Even as Devin Haney voiced his opinions, he demonstrated his ability to defy conventions and uphold his principles. Anyone who witnessed his impassioned speech in the viral interview would be convinced of his sincerity toward Rolando Romero. However, contrary to Devin's intentions, his father's actions took a different turn. When Raleigh Romero responded, he disregarded any distinction between father and son, opting instead to lump them together and hurl insults. It should be noted that Raleigh Romero's past clashes with Ryan Garcia add an intriguing layer to this matchup, considering his history. Picking a favorite between the two would have surely posed a challenge for him. If he did indeed choose a side, it likely stemmed purely from boxing considerations. Garcia and Romero appeared to be on the brink of finalizing a bout for this spring. However, Romero changed course and decided to face Cruz instead. This left Garcia to renegotiate with Devin Haney, whom he had defeated by a significant margin just hours before. Meanwhile, King Rai expressed doubt about Romero's abilities, citing concerns about his compromised chin and lack of experience. Garcia echoed these sentiments on social media, remarking that Romero simply couldn't endure a punch, stating, it's the truth. Ryan Garcia seized yet another opportunity to take a dig at his media adversary, Raleigh Romero, right after Romero's TKO defeat to Isaac Pitbull Cruz. Garcia, venting on the social media platform X, quipped, Remember when Raleigh thought he could outsmart me by opting to face Pitbull on short notice only to end up getting knocked out? Transitioning from the main event to the co-feature to the knockout, Garcia further suggested that Romero should consider venturing into influencer crossover boxing, adding, I believe Dean the Great would come out victorious against him. Seriously, Raleigh should consider stepping into the influencer boxing ring, and I genuinely believe it. Dean the Great, for those who aren't familiar, is a notable crossover boxer who has repeatedly challenged top pros like Garcia and Gervonta Tank Davis. However, just before his recent loss, Romero set aside their feud to express concerns about Ryan Garcia's health. While some viewed Garcia's behavior as a performance, others sympathized with his struggles. 
Raleigh's comments about Garcia came around two months prior to Garcia's scheduled fight with Devin Haney, raising doubts about whether the fight would even take place. However, during a recent interview with Fight Hype, Romero surprised many by putting aside his past grievances with Garcia. Instead, he emphasized the seriousness of Garcia's situation, stating that Garcia lacked trustworthy allies. Romero stressed the importance of Garcia receiving support from those around him, as his struggles were not to be taken lightly. However, Ryan Garcia's recent victory not only catapults him into the spotlight as boxing's current icon, but it also reshapes every storyline written about him. In a sport where top athletes typically compete only twice a year and are judged solely by their latest performance, Garcia's unexpected triumph radically alters the perceptions of both fighters. His daring maneuvers will now be celebrated as strategic brilliance, granting him license to flaunt his confidence even more boldly in future bouts. This win instantly positions him as the dominant figure in the 140-pound division and beyond, firmly in control of his own destiny as the sport's biggest star. After the bout, Garcia expressed his desire to shift his focus to the 147-pound category, acknowledging the challenges he faced even to reach 143 for this match. With this move, he opens up opportunities to face a range of top-tier opponents in his next fight. While a rematch with Haney looms as a significant option, Garcia's primary accomplishment of the evening was reaffirming his status as an elite fighter. This distinction was nearly lost after Davis convincingly defeated him last year, and had Garcia faltered against Haney, it might have been difficult to reclaim. These recent months have been marked by unpredictability for Garcia, making his victory all the more significant in maintaining his reputation. The aftermath appears rather intense for Haney, with doubters of his punching prowess feeling vindicated. Yet for those who hailed him in the top echelons of pound-for-pound -pound rankings, Haney's unexpected struggle against Garcia's sole weapon raises profound doubts about his true caliber despite his previous flawless performances hinting at a Hall of Fame trajectory. Despite Haney's evident resilience and determination showcased against Garcia, the looming cloud of criticism may still linger unfairly. Despite his unwavering spirit, doubts persist, fueled by his inability to dominate as expected. His failure to significantly impede Garcia's momentum only adds fuel to the fire of skepticism. And as if to amplify the chorus of detractors, Rolando Romero's recent commentary only adds to the noise. Thus, the stage is set for further scrutiny. So, that's all from today's video. If you enjoyed it, remember to leave a like, subscribe, and ring that bell icon so you never miss our upcoming videos. And don't forget to share your thoughts in the comments section. Stay tuned, and we will catch you in the next video.